Yo, what's up, everybody, man? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? There's a lot going on, man. A lot going on. Whew. It was a good game last night. Dolphins versus the Bengals. But let's start off with saying, yo, I don't know when you're going to catch this video. So if it's in the morning, good morning. If it's in the afternoon, good afternoon. If it's in the evening, good evening. And if it's at night time, good night. How y'all doing, man? It's your boy Hitman. Captain KOLH. <laughs> Hashtag hang strong. You already know what it is. <clears throat> so, you know, we got a, a lot of people sounding off on the, um, the tour situation and the injury from last last Sunday's game and um you know him hurting himself him getting hurt again in Thursday night on Thursday night football live television you know what I'm saying there's a couple things that I take from it and understand now in no way shape or form do I wish it injury on anybody or am I too come off insensitive because I'm really not these are human beings at the end of the day and you know so with that being said let's go ahead and get into my rant to well, all football players man one thing about it football is the most is the second probably the second most dangerous sport next to what I don't know if you want to call race car drivers, you know, a sport, but if you do, it's the third then, you know. Um but football is very dangerous because you guys they they have metal on their helmets, you know, the face mask and stuff like that. They're wearing this gear to protect them. But other than that, you know, boxing and MMA, you know, these sports can kill you. These sports can kill you. So when I hear a lot of these analysts saying, you know, about player protection and all this stuff, like these guys are getting paid millions of dollars to play this game, right? Now, like I said, I don't want to sound insensitive, but you got millions of people playing this game for free. And this game can kill you from little kids, from Pop Warner, all the way to college. These guys are sacrificing a lot to get to the stage of where these NFL players are at. So, if you want to talk about player safety, for one, or human safety, for two, since they're playing this sport, well, guess what you got to do? You can't you can't cry about it when someone gets hurt. It happens. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the that's the that's the beast in that game. All those players from those little kids to the to the, you know, adults, they're warriors to step out on the field. And putting their body and, and everything on the line. They're warriors. So, but if you want to protect the players, you're going to you're gonna have to stop paying them as much as you're paying them to protect the players. These guys get paid way too much money. So they're putting their life on the line and it's for an X amount. Now you see why these contracts for football players are reaching basketball numbers because you know basketball players don't you know necessarily die on basketball courts that's thing you know someone fall on their neck fall on their head or whatever blah 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 but <clears throat> you know you have the concussion protocol and cte that's killing off players that have a lot of head trauma from abuse from years and years of contact and stuff like that and so you're writ that like i said it's the it's the belly of that beast so Let's get into Sunday's game. Tua definitely had a concussion. And I do believe without Tua, they do not win that game. Just like as you see today, they didn't win that game. That game was very important to the Miami Dolphins because they were playing the Buffalo Bills. Tua had enough time right, to get evaluated because it was during the halftime and everything when he sustained this injury. <clears throat> and as a warrior, I command, I could, I, I could, I, um, a compliment to him for going back into that game because that was a choice that he made himself. 
That's a choice that he made himself. I commend him for that. And his players, coaches, and that whole staff commend him for that too. Because that helped rally them to help win that game was him coming back. Because, you know, these guys, a lot of these players out here want to win. And there's other players who want to get paid and they make business decisions. A.K.A., you know, Carson Wentz, when he got hurt in the playoff game, wasn't really a, it didn't look like a terrible shot, but he was, I don't know, dizzy, concussed. He made a business decision to take himself, remove himself from that game, and his team lost. And if you watch the highlight, it doesn't look nothing like Tua's uh, Buffalo Bill injury. When you clearly see this man get up, shake his head, he's, he's dusting the cobwebs off, he's dizzy. He could have made himself dizzy doing that. But at the end of the day, he wasn't concussed, but he had, you know, he had, you know, I don't think he was concussed because a concussion, you're not going, you know, when you get a concussion, bro, like you, you, you knock out, but he had maybe a low level of a concussion, you know what I'm saying? Where he was still aware. And that's probably why he was able to get back in that game where others say he should have stayed out. But at the end of the day, man, these are grown men. This is what they choose to do. This is what they want to do. And you're trying to protect these grown men who are getting paid all these all this all this amount of money. And you're trying to protect them. But you have little you saying these guys are playing a kid's sport. Well, this is definitely not a kid's sport if it can fucking kill you. That's not a kid's sport. So for one thing, they need to stop saying that shit. They're playing a kid's game. They're not playing no kid's game because kid's games are not has nothing with death involved in it. So stop saying that shit. Like, I hate when people say that shit. This is a grown man's game at the end of the goddamn day. And leave it at that. If this man wants to get back in this game, let him get back in this game. Because we choose what we choose in our walk of life every fucking day. We know some people that who want to jaywalk. And what happens? Hey, you got to... Be careful if you do this or not. You know, you, you're not breaking rules. You're breaking the law, but you're not really breaking rules. You know what I'm saying? So Tua got back in that game, which rallied the Miami Dolphins to come back in that game and to beat the Buffalo Bills. That's exactly what happened. Now, at a price, it did cause him, a, you know, if he get a nice good lick, which he did in this game. You know what I'm saying? Like, but and it, 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 it he has some lingering effects from the the uh push on sunday but the biggest thing that none of these guys are really talking about at the end of the day one thing two is an undersized man as far as the quarterback he's small he got tackled by a 350 he got slung around right and if you look at it Tua did not protect himself he still when he was getting slung he still tried to throw the football so he get like an intentional ground or whatever he attempted to throw the football which means if he would have just covered up and took the sack, we wouldn't be making this. We wouldn't be making this the biggest deal as it as it really was. At the end of the day, like if you're gonna sit here and say like, oh, the, these players, well, Tua at the end of the day may need someone to help protect him because he's not protecting himself in this in this in this situation. Now the the hit on Sunday was a complete flag. And I don't know, to me, I don't think he was trying to sell it, like flop it. But that was a flag, regardless if he flopped it or not. But you know you're going down. You have to brace and protect yourself at the end of the day. The surface that they're, they're dropping there. Look at Julio Jones had a concussion when he was playing in his last game. He had a concussion when he caught that ball on the sideline. I forgot they were playing Green Bay. He hit his head on the ground. One thing about it. The football helmet is working, but the surface that is bouncing their head off on, thank God they're playing with helmets. That's why the game changed from the leather little helmets to, you know what I'm saying, the, the sturdier, more, you know, plastic, whatever, the, whatever they're using, you know, metal uh, plastic helmets that they have and everything, because the surface they're playing on is fucking concrete like a lot of these teams aren't playing on grass they're playing on turf and that shit is rock solid oh you know how old those stadiums are 
and they bouncing their head or they ain't playing on a, a mm a, a wrestling mat. You know what I'm saying? They not jumping at Sky Zone when they you know their head is bouncing off concrete at the end of the damn day. They're getting slung down and their head. You know what I'm saying? So they gotta just like how they slide. They teach them how to do the baseball slide to protect them. Well, they need to have them protecting themselves on certain tackles that they run across to protect themselves. But I mean, because at the end of the day, Tua gave himself up, tried to still throw the ball in the grasp of a 340 pound man who's slinging him to the ground. So that's a all that's a whole whiplash effect. You guys now now I now does does somebody have something to blame? Does anybody does something? Yeah, every at the end of the day, everybody. You know, I think Tua has something to blame with it. The coaching staff. The, the 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 um everybody involved with the organization so you can't just walk around firing everybody when everybody's involved in it so at the end of the day we can label it down as a normal play now should he have been in the game yeah he finished the other game why not but like i said from the gate these are grown men they're not playing no kid game Pop Warner did not come first. The NFL came first. Football came first in the adult league, and then it trickled It trickled down to the lower leagues. This was never a kid's game. So where they get that, oh, you're playing a kid's game idea like it started, it, Pop Warner started first? No, the hell it didn't. Get your facts and your information right. Now, I understand everybody's upset. Yes, it was disturb disturbing seeing Tua you know, locked up like that. But I don't understand how it's disturbing when you guys are watching MMA fighters getting knocked out, boxing. You know it's football. You know people get hit and people get knocked out. So I don't know how it's disturbing. This is the hottest sport in the, in, in, in the world. And you know this happens a lot. I'm pretty sure there were a lot of concussions that went unnoticed every Sunday. And these guys are playing the following week. Now, some of them heal faster and, and, and you know, they don't take a lick no more. They or they don't get hit and they don't, you know, show the lingering effects. But if Tua didn't have a concussion Sunday. And that same play happened Thursday. He's still getting concussed. I don't give a damn what happened on Sunday. I don't give a damn what happened four days, three days. If that shit happened yesterday, the way he got tackled and the way he did not protect himself hurt him more than the than whatever happened on Sunday. Trust and believe that if he would have just took the sack, we wouldn't be having this conversation at all. Everybody has accountability on this situation, mainly Tua. You can't change the way the guy tackles because the man is 340 pounds. Tua probably weighs 208 pounds. He ragdolled him. You can't, you're like, what are you going to do? Put weight limits in the NFL? Oh, well, you can only be up to 280 pounds on the offensive line and defensive line to protect these people. Well, no, you can't do that shit. If you're going to protect the NFL players, Make it, make them not want to play. How you make them not want to play? Stop paying them three hundred million, two hundred million, a hundred million. Stop, stop paying them. If you stop paying them, now they're gonna be like the risk and the reward ain't so shabby. You know, we have bigger problems out here. We got motherfucking kids going to school, shooting up schools. Are you paying these teachers? Like these NFL players, because their lives are important too. They, I'm sure every day a teacher, if they're religious or not, prays that they school ain't the next victim. And you trying to preserve these NFL players for what? Or these athletes, but you're not preserving the ones that is in high school. You're not preserving the ones that are in college. You're not preserving the ones that are in Pop Warner. 
Those are the people you should be preserving. When you get to that top level and you getting paid this money like this, you get hurt, shit happens to you. That is the best of the best playing the best of the best. And when you when they when it when they're warriors, this it's like a gladiator sport. They're trying to win. They're trying to get the football to the other side to score points, and the other side got to stop them. So do you do you you know what's going on between those plays? Hell no, you don't unless you played the game of football. Those dudes are fighting tooth and nail, and they would try to kill the next person trying to get that football in the end zone. They got to do everything legally within the rules to to decapitate the person with the ball. Regardless, they want to change the hitting style and, you know, you can't hit them high. You can't hit them low. Well, hey, they're going to hit them as hard as they can, period. And some, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's the game of football. You can't take it out. If you want to make the game safer, you want to make the you want to preserve. Well, guess what? Stop paying them because these athletes and these kids are choosing the sports because that's the easier road. And you guys want to bring up their families and this and this and that. Most athletes don't even have families. Most athletes are just, you know, because that's the nature of that beast. When you're sacri you have to sacrifice something. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you know, when you're growing up in high school and college, like you're a solo act. You're, you're single a lot of the times. A lot of, a lot of these players don't marry their high school sweethearts. It don't, it don't, it, it don't work out like that. You know, they're by the, that's the sacrifice they take. They, they're, they're, they're alone. They're trying to perfect their craft. You can't perfect your craft and have a family at the same time because you're going to sacrifice one of, you got to sacrifice something to get there. You're not going to be at home. You're not going to be around your family. You're not going to be around your kids. You're not going to be there because that's the sacrifice you're taking to become great or to become one of the players in the league. There's 53 man rosters. There's 32 teams. Multiply that shit. That's how many. That's how many NFL players there are that are actually on the field playing. And they ain't just grabbing this guy off the bench or this guy off off the couch either. No, they're not. So, y'all can sound off all y'all like and want people's heads on a spike. But at the end of the day, you got to put it to his head on there too. Because Tua did not protect himself. He didn't protect himself. There was nothing that... There was... Like I said again, I'm going to repeat it again. There was nothing... It Tua could have had a concussion three years ago. He was definitely getting a concussion off that play. It had nothing to do with what happened Sunday a year ago. It don't got nothing to do 10 years ago. It don't got nothing to do with 20 minutes ago. If he would have protected himself, he wouldn't have got that concussion. He did not protect himself. So you can't go and just won't people heads on the spike calling people to get fired are you guys right what are you guys talking about you want people to get fired the bills don't win that game just like they didn't win i mean the uh the dolphins don't win that game just like they didn't win last night if Tua had a chance to get back in that game he would have definitely tried to get back in that game and because there were players in the 80s there were players in the 60s and 70s Similar situations where they've been knocked out, got some smelling sauce, some woke right the fuck up, and they strapped their shit back on and went back on there on the field. Yeah, they got lingering effects. You don't think Terry Bradshaw and all those old heads on the on on, on uh, ESPN NFL Network got like lingering problems? You know they got that's hey, but you know what they call him at the end of the day? He's the original TB12 and. Tom Brady should be the original TV 12 because he got seven Super Bowls. How many Bradshaw got? He ain't got that many. But they will not give TB 12 to Tom Brady. That is Terry Bradshaw. So you don't think he got lingering effects? Yeah, he do. That's the belly of the beast. That's what happens. It's unfortunate. But the best we can do for these people who choose this sport 
you gotta pray for them that they okay and speedy recovery and see you back on the field. Dolphins don't win this game, win last win Sunday's game if Tua stayed out. Tua came back in. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I think people need to be fined, yeah. But fired? If you're gonna fire anybody, you gotta fire Tua for not protecting himself. You gotta fire well, you gonna fire the tackler? Because that play interaction is those two. Ain't got nothing to do with Sunday. Nothing to do with Sunday. Has nothing to do with Sunday. So you can't you you just can't walk around just firing people because now you just scared. What do you, what, what do you got all these businesses up in or the NFL teams up in the uproar? I mean, we all at the end of the day was watching the replay from Sunday. We all know that Tua had a concussion or he had he 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 was unsure of his self. He wasn't knocked out, but he was woozy from the hit, and he should have protected himself there too. And I don't know now that that could be because he's so light. And that guy, that was a that was a flagrant foul. At the end of the day, it was a pat, you know, roughing the passer. It was flagrant. It was a personal foul. It shouldn't have happened. He shouldn't have done that. Find that guy, because find him. Because once you start finding these guys for doing shit like that, that's how you clean that up. But the tackle on on Thursday, completely clean. That was Tua's fault. Now, like I said again, nothing to do with Sunday. No one cares about the back. No one cares about the what happened on that play on Sunday. Because if you if you take that play away, that Sunday that happened, and you put Tua four months from now and put him in that same tackle animation, same situation, he's getting concussed. He's getting, I guarantee you, he's getting concussed. And it's not because of what happened to him before. He's getting concussed because he didn't protect himself and the force in which this 355, 350 pound man is slinging a 208 pound guy who's not even protecting himself to try to, you know, you know, just cover up and take the sack. He's still trying to throw the ball and basically sumo slams him and his head bounces off the off the turf. He's getting concussed. Any everybody's getting everybody. You get put in that same situation, everybody's getting concussed in that situation. So, I mean, take it for what it is, and that's what it is. Hitman out.